Good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. The scripture reading for this morning, The Lord shall fight for you, and ye shall hold your peace, which comes from Exodus chapter 14, verses 14. God has rescued the Israelites from Egypt with his mighty hand. He has brought judgment upon Pharaoh and the gods of Egypt with plague after plague while the hard-hearted Pharaoh resisted. Finally, after letting the Israelites go out into the wilderness, Pharaoh, his heart once again hardened, pursued them with the might of his army. The Israelites were spiritually and emotionally weak and cried out to Moses, complaining for the first time of many that perhaps they should have stayed in Egypt, where while they were enslaved, they were at least safe and well. My brothers and sisters in Christ, do you believe God will be able to fight your battles for you? Do you trust God enough that he says that he will take care of us? No matter the challenges, no matter the circumstances, no matter the situation. Do we hold our peace in the midst of trials and difficulties? If you feel like you're under constant storm clouds, stop and pray. God doesn't want us to live our lives stressed and worried. He wants us to trust him, give him anything that is weighing heavy on our hearts, and he will give us peace and strength to push through the day. Let me share with you a story. Let us listen to this story. Jerry's Attitude my friend Jerry was one of the most positive people I had ever known. He was always in a good mood and always had something encouraging to see. He was a manager at a restaurant. If his employee had a bad day, Jerry always helped him to look on the positive side of the situation. <clears throat> Jerry's attitude truly amazed me. So one day I asked him, how can you be so positive all the time? He replied, You see, every morning I tell myself that I have two choices for that day, to be in a good mood or in a bad one. I choose the good one. And when something wrong happens, I can be sad or I can be angry or I can learn from it. Thus, I choose the positive side of life. I said, it is not that easy, he replied. Yes, it is. Life is all about choices. You can choose how people or situation will affect your mood. What is our attitude today in the midst of circumstances, in the midst of situation? Do we allow life's burdens to change our mood, to change our attitude? Or do we allow the goodness of God, God's mercy, His strength to help us during the trials and the challenges that in spite of it, we can have that good attitude knowing that God is fighting our battles for us, just as how Jerry had a positive attitude. He chose to be positive in the midst of his trial. He chose to have a happy face in spite whether or not he may have been angry some days, whether or not he may have been sad, but he chose to have a positive attitude to attend to his customers. What attitude do we have in the midst of our trials? Are we resting in the hope and in the, and in the strength of God that he will take care of us? Let us trust God 
that in the midst of our trials and our difficulties and our challenges that we face day by day to handle our situation for us. As Exodus said, as Exodus chapter 14 verse 14 says, the Lord shall fight for you and ye shall hold your peace. My brothers and sisters, God is encouraging us this morning to put everything in his care and he will fight our battles for us. When we feel broken, down, way down, and unhappy, he will handle our situation for us. Let us not take it on our own, but give the burden to Jesus. Give the trial to God. Give our frustrations, our cares, our hurts, our yearnings, our desires, everything to God, and He will handle it. He will fight our battles. Onward, Christian soldiers, marching us to war. With the cross of Jesus going on before. Let us have that positive attitude like Jerry did in that story. That in spite of all the things that he might have been going through, he was going to choose the positive attitude to sustain his, his, himself during the course of his working day. To sustain himself all through life because he know that he can have the peace and the love and the care of God in him to trust God that everything, that every, everything in our life is going to be okay. And sometimes it is easier said than done. And sometimes when the storm is very high, we may feel very, very frustrated and overwhelmed. But let us think about that scripture reading this morning. Exodus chapter 14 verse 14 and as we go through this day and for the rest of the week just remember that scripture verse Exodus chapter 14 verse 14 the Lord will fight for you you need only be still the Lord will fight for you you need only to be still be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still and know that I am God. Be still that I am God. Let us go through the day trusting in faith, in strength, in the comfort, in the love of God that he will take good care of us. Amen. Let me leave you with the words of this poem. No mistakes. When my hopes feed and my dreams die and I find no answer by asking why, I just keep I just keep on trusting and hang on to my faith because God is just, he never makes mistakes. Should the storms come, and trials I must face. When I find no solution, I rest in God's grace. When life seems unfair and more than I can take, I look up to the Father, he never makes mistakes. God sees our struggles and every bend in the road, but no mistakes is ever made cause he weighs every load. Life's daily doses reminds us to take one day at a time. God's grace will meet us and God's mercy will renew us each new day. 
So I would like for us to have a blessed and a very productive day, a very productive week, resting in the wonderful arms of Jesus, knowing that he is capable and that he will take good care of us once we trust in him. Stop!